I'd love an olive tree. I wish my boogie was flying. Ah, oh, look at this color. What's this color? Right there. I do have this already. This is new. I've never seen Cedar Modolphi Compact before. I don't know what that is. It's a very pretty color. Do I like this one? I think I like this one. This is Sedum Adolphi. Such a pretty color. And this is a Sedum Adolphi Compact. What's the difference? You can see what the difference is, but just haven't seen this one before, ever. These ones don't turn that orange in my garden. They're very pretty. I'm just curious to get this one and see what it'll do in my garden. Okay, you're coming home with me. Prolifica. This prolific is looking pretty good. I have a couple of these, but not that big. Mm, what's this one? Apis. I think I've got Apis. Again, not looking this healthy, but I do have one. Ooh. I kind of like these, but I have no idea if they're going to stay this color in my garden. I think I don't like anything to be green. I like things to be super stressed and colorful. Let's just give it a go. All right. What's this? How did that get in here? How did this Talavira pot get in here? 
at Javeria Morning Beauty. I had this one in my garden and it died because it rotted. It doesn't do so well with rain. Oh dear. That's a really nice mangave. I don't normally like mangaves. Would you get that? No? I think it looks prettier than the Mission to Mars, personally. Grapto. Hmm, that's cute. But it shan't go in my garden. No. And we're back at Greenborn. Hi, Greenborn. We're back here because Tim wants to get me another variegated string of pearls because he's a little annoyed that I paid $5 extra for the same size pot at Bonnie Hills Nursery. So we're just spending more money and getting another variegated string of pearls. It's Cal Calibrachoa. I like these flowers. Oh, look at this. Cute little cactus flower. That's so sweet. So pretty. I quite like this. I like the cacti that are a little bit darker and it's got some yellow flowers which are very cute. It's got a little bit of fruit popping out of it. How oh, sweet. Ceres monstros. We actually already have one of these. I love the little furry mammalarias that have flowers. They're so cute. What is this? It's like a little animal. Plumosa. How sweet is that? Do these stay this color? A gymno Calcium, calcium, gym, gym, gymnocalcium. So that's a bloom. I want like a dark cactus. Yes. Oh shit, it's got a ton of scale on it. That's pretty bad. Oh, yeah. It's the gymno. Yeah, look at it. It's got so much scale on it. Poor thing. Oh well. That's staying right over here. Right away from everyone else. What's that? Little fireball. It's a little animal, this one. I think they were playing Abby yesterday too. Pretty high up, Ellensboro Waterfalls. Ugh, that's a drop. Very pretty though. And there's the waterfall. tired. Plant haul day two of Port Macquarie. Where did we go today? The first place that we went to was called Abundance Nursery. I got this thing. I normally don't like these. I don't even know what these are. These are like Gasteria little things. I normally don't like this but this was just such a pretty color. As you can probably tell I don't like I don't like a lot of green because uh, most plants are green and I always like a little pop of colour in there. So I got this. That's this one. This is going to focus. Yeah, there we go. It's a really, really nice kind of like pimp. I'm so tired. It's a nice pimp colour. It's a nice pink colour. Pink orange. It's not even pink. It's an orange colour. I did end up getting... Okay, I did end up getting the, whatever this one is, the Sedum Adolphi Compact. Very different to the other Sedum Adolphis that I have. It looks like it's kind of got a few more, maybe it's like, it looks like it's a, a cross between a Sedum Adolphi and a Sedum Golden Goddess. So hopefully with a little bit more sun, this is going to have a, a, a nice, um, orangey yellow coloring to it. Oops, I'm just getting soil all over the Airbnb. And then the last thing we got from Abundance Nursery is this little itty bitty little Baba Pacopodium, Madagascar palm. My dream would be to get a massive one of these that, you know, kind of 
is the size of a small tree, but that would just, um, that would cost me my liver. So we're just going to start small and eventually, you know, once we're super rich, we can get one of the bigger ones. Okay, so that, ow, ow. Where did we go next? We went back to... We went back to Greenbourne. My brain is really slow. I am so tired. I didn't get a nap today and I drank a lot of coffee. We crammed so much in this morning. So I'm, uh, I'm not functioning right now. This, okay, so I don't really normally love these kind of aloe hybrids, but this just looks, I mean, look at the, focus, look at the color. Look at the color on that. It's just super stunning. It's kind of like purpley, orange, pinky. Oh, it's like gorgeous. And I'm gonna have to find a way to keep it that color, keep it really stressed. And it's got little babies, look at this. It's got, focus, focus, you gonna focus? Thanks. It's got like little babies. So that's that one. Aloe Hybrid. And of course, Tim did end up getting me another <laughs> um, variegated string of pearls. Uh, for five dollars less than the first place that we got the first variegated string of pearls. Um, so that's just gonna be fun. I'm gonna have like, I'm gonna combine the two and then like just have a massive pot of variegated string of pearls, cause why not? And then just for fun, even though we can go to Bunnings in Sydney, we, I don't know, it was, it was, it was just around, so we went to Bunnings in Port Macquarie. I wasn't thinking that we would have much luck because the succulents kind of, um, they're a bit boring at Bunnings. They're a little bit vanilla. I, I didn't have high hopes for getting something at Bunnings, but I've actually been wanting to get this, um, this sedum decifilum for ages. I used to have one and this is like, I don't know if you can kind of see it, but if this, is, if this will focus, I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell from this, but this is, this is more of a blue dasafilum and it's got these little hairs on the leaves. Yeah, focus, thank you. I've been wanting to get another one of these as a replacement. I did, I did, I did have this. Okay, I did used to have this um, and I replanted it right in the heat of summer and it, it just, it got sunburnt and it died. And I've been, I've saved, like, I was able to save, like, like a little, you know, something that was just kind of like, like that size. And I, I planted it underneath my um, Caprosma Sunset. And it's kind of doing okay, but I had, like, I had high hopes for this getting really big and like sprawling like carpet um, underneath a whole bunch of plants and it just kind of didn't happen. So I, and I've been hanging out for this to reappear at Bunnings or any other nursery and it just hasn't until now. So yeah, I can take that one off the list. And then, and then friends, I did a really cheeky thing. And when we were down near the beach to go get fish and chips, I grabbed a not so subtly small cutting of this pig face plant. I'm gonna take home a cutting. This looks like a nice bit. have this pig face plant at home I bought I bought it from flower power but this one just looks so much more lush the one that I have at home is looking really leggy it's it looks like it's deprived of nutrients and I feel like this one looks a little bit more lush and maybe I have high hopes for this again to kind of like be put in one of the bigger pots and then it sprawls down the side um, and looks really, really amazing and lush. And I just, I love the color of this, this like dark, this darker green with uh, the purple edges. Anyway, so I stole this from public property, which I'm actually kind of okay. If it's public property, it's fair game. Most people will say with succulent cuttings. And if you're not one of those people, then good for you. You're a good human being. So yeah, I'm gonna replant this and I'm gonna 
just see how it goes. I didn't actually show you any of the pots that we got. We got this one from Abundance. This beautiful, we love Talavera. Vera. We love, love, love Talavera. Vera. Anything that kind of like has that sort of um, Mexican feel to it. So this one, and we can't, we don't have a local store in Sydney that just sells Talavera. You have to go to Newcastle, pretty much. Um, I've forgotten the name of the nursery, but there's a nursery in Newcastle that has Talavera pots. Nothing in Sydney. Can you believe that? Sydney, get with it. Look at that green. Isn't that nice? Such pretty patterns and colors. Yeah. Oh God, this one's a little bit heavier. I love the color of this and I love the patterning. Sorry, the TV's kind of shining on this at the moment. I'm probably just gonna use this for a house plant inside. We actually got this one yesterday. I just didn't show you. So I'm showing you now, we got this one. And then last but not least, is another one that we got yesterday. I, I really like the color and I love the blue edging and I have no idea what's gonna go in this, but it was, it was $15. So, you know, why not? That's it for today. I am spent. I am so tired. It's funny, you go on holidays and you think you're gonna catch up on rest and you actually end up expending way more energy than what you would do in your daily life back home. Doesn't matter. I'm buying plants, I'm having a really great time, um, and tomorrow's our last day. Tomorrow we're going home. Tomorrow we're going, we're gonna make our way back home, probably visit the Bonnie Hills Nursery again. We're gonna visit a really great nursery in Newcastle as well. And uh, yeah, that is it. I'm gonna go drop in bed and just sleep like a log.